Um, so the first question I wanted to ask, have you always lived here in Rome? No. Okay. So tell me a little bit about how your family ended up here. Uh, we came to Rome when my husband accepted a position at Berry College. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, well, Neil, we're going to talk a little bit about um, the, the type of home that you live in. So, for example, right now, I'm currently a renter, and I live in a single-family home that is that is brick. Um, would you mind telling me a little bit about the type of home that you live in? Um, we own our house or are in the process of owning our house. It's a single-family home. It's a brick house, a um, little over two acres. Um, it was built in the 70s. It's a four-bedroom house. Okay. All right. And do you have um, kind of an estimated date that you guys moved in where you are now? Um, let's see now. I believe it's in third grade. So what year is that? So... 10 years ago. So about 2008. Okay. So about 2008. Yeah. Um, do you guys currently have a rooftop solar for your home? No. Okay. Um, would you mind sharing why you don't have rooftop solar on your home? It wasn't there when we moved in. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it wasn't there when you moved in. It wasn't there, there so, so we don't have it. So you don't have it. <laughs> the next question was, did you make that decision to not have it, or was it made for I mean, you? we've made the decision not to add it, but okay. we didn't. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Okay. Um, so uh, with that being said, if you had the option to put rooftop solar on your home, tell me why you would or would not. Probably not, because... It's unattractive, and we won't sell the house, and I don't think it would sell well, or it would minimize the market of who would be willing to buy it with the panels on the roof. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you're trying to sell your home. You think it's unattractive, mm-hmm. um, and that would be something that could mm-hmm. deter somebody from making that purchase. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So right now we're going to look at look at some maps. Um and hopefully get some good opinions from you about people who who have rooftop solar. So um, what we're going to do is talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. Mm-hmm. Here is a map of the United States, um, and here's a pen for you. Where do you think uh, people have the most rooftop solar energies, energy on their homes, and would you mind drawing that for me on the map? Just the state. where Wherever you... It can be a state, it can be an area. That's where I would think it would be the most, would be those four states. Okay. All right. Um, Tell me a little bit, what makes that community so different from the people here in Georgia? I say this. Um... Solar energy seems like something that would be, I, well, first of all, I starred California and Oregon and Washington State and Florida. And Florida, I think you just, you have so much sun that there's probably a lot of urban areas where that's something that people would be more willing to adopt it. As far as the West Coast, that seems to be as much of um, a lifestyle choice as an economic choice, and it is not a lifestyle choice from what I have seen in Northwest Georgia. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you this map. We're going to talk a little bit about people here in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, what community here in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? And it can be a county. It can be a community. I'm to it can think. Um, totally up to you. Well, I think it would depend a lot on zoning, on whether or not they could. But I would, so I guess I would say that I think the people that would be the most open to it would be a lot of, um, hmm, that's a hard one. It it really is. Um, I don't know. I really don't. Um, I would think in the metro Atlanta area, you would find more people that would, again, I'll go back to, would make the lifestyle choice. But then again, it's going to depend on, like I said, for our house, first off, are they allowed to where they live? Are there covenants against it? And two, 
how does it affect property values on whether or not they would be willing to do it. Okay. All right. So you kind of already answered this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So what do you feel like that people um, that are in that metro area that you kind of identified, what do you make, what makes them so different from the people here in Rome? Uh, again, I think, I just think it's a, I think it's a lifestyle choice. I think it's a, a a different, um, people that are more conscious or conscientious about certain things or have an ideology that would fall into the solar power. I mean, this is sort of a Ford versus Chevy question, in my opinion, and some people are just going to really be for it and some are going to be against it. And it's, they can't really tell you why it's just, okay. they are, they're not. I like it. I like it. Well, okay, what about um, most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have rooftop solar on their homes? No. Uh, why, do you, why do you think that they don't? Um, this, the same reason I said it's, um, it's not an attractive thing. It's not, um, it, it just, like I said, property values, people that I know that live in neighborhoods, I don't even know if they are allowed to with their covenants, with their homeowners associations. If they wanted to put it up, I don't know that they could put it up. Um, because it in a neighborhood, I'm in a rural area, but in a neighborhood, if you put it on your house, it affects the property values of anybody that can see your house, mm-hmm. not just your house. Right. That's very true. So if it's within sight, you know, I mean, you can't even paint doors certain colors, so. Oh, it is what it is, I uh-huh. guess. Um, well, is there anything else that you would like to add about rooftop solar? Or? No, I don't think so. All I don't right. have much experience with it, so no, I don't. Well, that is okay.